The collection arm doesn't seem to know what the decision arm is being doing. Thousands of people applied for and received pandemic unemployment assistance. But still thousands also received a letter saying, you've got to pay those pandemic unemployment back, like Morgan. July 6th of 2022, she's still getting a bill a year later from it being waived. Now that's the real problem. Morgan is our hypothetical example, and we took her case to attorney Tony Paris. What are all these files? These are currently open files that are either scheduled to be heard in front of an unemployment judge or have just been heard by a judge. So what are all these files? These are all cases that have been closed, we hope, if there's no appeals or other types of actions by the agency. That's a lot. Hundreds and hundreds. Tony says when the pandemic started in April 2020, it was a good idea to give those who couldn't work because of COVID special pandemic unemployment benefits, especially to those who couldn't qualify for regular unemployment benefits like gig or 1099 workers. Or folks who didn't have enough wages in their base period to qualify for regular unemployment because that is a huge sector of our economy that's ever growing. Even if people did babysitting work or helping out someone or helping out the family, that would qualify someone to get pandemic unemployment? It could. Now back to Morgan, who had been doing odd jobs before the pandemic. The letter she received qualified her for benefits on April 22nd, 2020. But July 30th, 2021, she was denied. Yet she didn't have to pay the money back. But imagine Morgan's surprise when on August 31st, 2021, the state said she had to pay back 4200 And even more of a surprise, on July 6th, 2020, Morgan had to pay back $8,760. What a mess. Tony says the unemployment system, with its antiquated software, got overloaded. You place all those new filers on a system that was already broken, and it's like pumping air into a torn tire. We contacted the unemployment agency and received this response. While we cannot publicly discuss the details of an individual claim, UIA is continuing to aggressively identify workers who may be eligible for an overpayment waiver. So bottom line, after all these documents, do you think Morgan owes the 8760 bucks? Absolutely not. Well, if you have a problem with pandemic unemployment benefits, you can contact attorney Paris. Call him at the Sugar Law Center, or better yet, email him at www.sugarlaw.org. In Detroit, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.